Hi, my name is Ying Zhao Xia. And my name is Xin Na Wang. We are the Human Resource Department Manager of our company. And uh, this is a training video about our company's social media policy. The employees need to acknowledge these policies to avoid some legal trouble. Employee training is an essential element in promoting the development of human resources. We are committed the, to encouraging and giving all employees the opportunity to realize their potential. Therefore, the department held a series of carefully planned for the staff and high quality training program to increase employees' confidence, strengthen the team cooperation, to optimize the services, to make employees continue to improve the performance of the whole department. As we know, it is unexecutive to man monitor employees' use of the internet all the time. Also, it is impossible to prohibit employees using social media correctly during the work entirely. Therefore, how to use the social media correctly is the essential requirement of our company. First, I will discuss what can employee access and use social networking sites during working hours. Some people say that using social network sites can make employees work time to relax ease stress and improve the work efficiency. Also, there still has some people consider that social media will distract employees and seriously reduce work efficiency. Both of these two statements have advantages and disadvantages. Therefore, to be humanized, our company requires all social media records of employees to be monitored during the working period and we guarantee that privacy will not be violated during the off hours. Second, employees must know how to prevent incorporate statements on the social media. Every employee needs to know that our company is primarily concerned with how to prevent employees from disclosing trade secrets. Also, our company cares about the negative comments of the employees, which brings the reputation of business loose. Therefore, we might fire some employees who bring the negative reputation to the company. Third, our company requires our employees to show their identities when they meet peers. This transparency and openness will create a professional image of our company and will help employees to reduce the daily risks associated with other non-work-related issues with the company. Fourth, most of our employees have the corporate identity on social media, such as Twitter, Facebook, especially when your account name is directly related to the enterprise name. Therefore, our company stimulates that after the employees leave, these accounts need to be destroyed. If you continue to use this account and then appear some negative comments on our company, we will pursue legal responsibility. It states that it's your opinion when commenting on the business, unless authorized to speak on behalf of our company. You must state that the views expressed are your own. Our employees should not speak on behalf of our company when they are off the clock. So basically, if you find yourself wondering whether you can talk about something you learn at work, don't. Follow company's policy and live company's values and philosophies. There are further reasons, just in case you are forgetful or ignore the guidelines above. Here's what could happen. You could get fired. So, and this is embarrassing to lose your job for something that is so easy to avoid. And um, you could get our company in legal trouble with customers or investors. Also, it could cost us the, the ability to get and keep the customer. So remember, protect the brand protect yourself. So please keep these policies in your mind and to protect yourself and also pr protect our company. Thank you so much. Thank you.